Hi, I'm Jennifer Nicely with Pinnacle Real Estate Academy. Everyone has been talking and there's a buzz on the streets about the markets changing and some people are panicking, some people are not. And some people say, hey, this isn't a new recession, this isn't a crash. And some people think we're about to relive 2007 and eight in our housing crisis again. I wanna kinda of give you my opinion on this and what I have seen us go through in the last couple of years and what we're probably going to be going through in the next couple of years. Now, keep in mind, this is 100% my opinion. Uh, I've gathered information from a lot of different sources. I read a lot of magazines and I hear a lot of people talking. And so this again is just my opinion. Now here's what's happened in our market and let's call them the COVID years, 2020, 2021 real estate was insane. It was chaotic. There were homes that went on the market within hours with multiple, multiple offers and people were being ugly to each other. They were being harsh and quick and uh, guerrilla marketing, if you've ever heard of that concept. Uh, they were snippy with each other and just downright dirty and ugly. And a lot of it was hustle bustle. Now the market has shifted a little bit. Whether you like that terminology or not, it's kind of what's happening. It is changing. Now, is this for the bad? Not necessarily. It could be that the market is just regulating itself. This is the reason why the feds have increased the rates. It is to slow down inflation. You know the old scientific saying, what goes up must come down, right? So same concept. We do not want this to go up and up and up and up at a fast, fast pace because it's gonna crash, much like the housing recession in 2007 and eight. Now, I do not believe we are going to see a housing recession or a crisis like we did in 2007, eight. We do not have the same issues. Now, are we going to see a down, a down uh, tick in our market, a slowing down of our market? Absolutely, people are feeling that right now. But now what's happening is real estate agents and buyers or sellers are starting to work together. <laughs> They're not being uh, snippy and ugly to each other because you don't have 12 offers on the market in a couple of hours of listing a home. So times are changing, but I do need you to keep in mind, we as real estate agents, our goal is to always work with the other real estate agent to have a meeting of the minds with the buyers and sellers. Our goal is not to automatically just start fighting with them and, and pick sides like we're in court. That's not how this works. Our job is to communicate with the other side because buyers and sellers have emotions that are built in and those emotions can't always communicate as easily when we as the professionals take the emotion out. So be kind to the other person on the other side of the transaction. You two should have the same goal, which is a meeting of the minds. Now, when it comes to the market, here in the Myrtle Beach area, we have seen it slow down, and that's across the country. That's in pretty much every market. However, there's still people moving here from all over the country. Our taxes are low, our weather is, um, pretty calm. We don't have anything drastic on either sides. Uh, we do have good schools. We do have properties that you can still purchase that has land that has a certain amount of square footage. Uh, and our values, believe it or not, are still really good. Now, if you've been born and raised in the Myrtle Beach area, you're probably thinking, Jennifer, you're crazy. Our values are through the roof. I made 100000 off my house last year. Yes, correct, but if we're looking at our buyers from somewhere else in our country, so Northeast or even out West, their price per square foot is a lot more than our price per square foot, plus they have astronomical taxes. So it is still cheaper for them to move to the Myrtle Beach or South Carolina area compared to what they had. So when you look at it that way, I don't see our numbers in the Myrtle Beach area crashing like they did in 2009 and 10 after the recession had taken place. You saw values bottom out. I'm not so sure we're going to see that because 
where people are coming from, it's still higher than what we are here. And this gives them a sense of peace and simpler living than where they're from. So if you're waiting for that market to crash so you can buy really low, I'm not so sure I would do that. Uh, take into consideration what's on the market, what our industry looks like, how people are still moving here, and purchase those homes today. Are the interest rates higher? Yeah, they're a little bit higher, but they've always been closer to five, six, seven in a normal, regular, stable market. So just because they came up a little bit does not mean now is not the time to buy. And you can always keep in mind, you can refi if those rates always low, lower back down. So please don't be scared. Don't think the world's about to bottom out. If you've thought about getting your real estate license, now is the time to get into it because you have a lot of real estate agents getting out of it. And so there's some market share there for you. So buyers, don't hesitate on buying. If you're looking for a new career, now's the time to get in. A down market, a slowing down of a market is always a good time. That's where a lot of successes have come out of. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, this video is my opinion. It is not factual. So you may have a different opinion and that is perfectly okay.